Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let's create the combo chart. All right, so to create a combo chart, let me delete this chart. And let me take the combo chart from here and put it over here. So combo chart is basically a combination chart where you have the combination of bar chart and line chart. So for that, let's add the dimension. Um, the dimension I will choose will have uh, some 10 or 12 values. So product subcategory is something which I will choose for this example. And I will choose a measure, which is uh, some of sales. So what I'm showing over here is the uh, simple, the sum of sales for each of the product subcategory. Once we have added the information for the bar, we need to come over here in the measure to get the line chart as per the indication given over here that it is a bar chart and a line chart combination. So the combination which I think will make sense is the profit on top of sales for each of these categories. So for the height, let's add the profit um, and the profit is over here. I will go into profit and I will get the sum of profit. So up to me whether I want sum of profit or even I can have the average of profit but that's okay so now i have both the sum of sales and for each of the category whether i am getting enough profit out of it or not so for example here in this case of tables the sales is high and the profit is a little bit less but here in case of uh, telephones and uh, and some some value the profit is really high so it will allow me to focus on on which category I really need to focus and which category is something which is going really well. So, so this is how, first of all, you can create the combination chart. That's the basic setting that you need to do. But if you come over here in the profit, it is something interesting if I go down because it will allow me to choose that instead of line chart, I can even have the bar chart or I can even have the marker. And as you can see, if uh, you want, you can even have the value of the primary axis, but I recommend uh, that the measure is different than the primary axis, then keep it on the secondary axis. So you can actually choose all of those values. And finally, if you have, uh, or if you want to add another value for the height, let's say another line chart, then you can create uh, by adding one more value for the height. And this way you can make your chart more and more complex as per your business needs but i would just suggest that do not go beyond too high because it may confuse the user but at the end of the day it is totally up to you how you want to show it if it makes sense that you want to add um, one or two or three then it's up to you but uh, my suggestion is one is good two is more than enough so that's pretty much it uh, in this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic